and girls. Today we are working on lesson 77 in our Saxon math and we're going to draw an 80 millimeter line segment or eight tens on my centimeter line and draw a segment 10 millimeters shorter so that would be seven tens. The high temperatures yesterday in Boston, Bismarck, Raleigh, and Denver were 45 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 degrees Fahrenheit, 58 degrees Fahrenheit, and 37 degrees Fahrenheit, respectively. Write the names of the cities and their temperatures in order from coldest to warmest. So let's start with our numbers. So 45, 15, 58, and 37. So my lowest number is 15 degrees Fahrenheit, and my largest number is 58 degrees Fahrenheit. So that leaves 37 and 45. So 37, 45. Now I need to match them up. So 45 degrees Fahrenheit goes to Boston. Bismarck was 15. Raleigh was 58. And that leaves Denver at 37. How much warmer was it in Boston than in Bismarck? So 45 and 15, what was the difference? Each large square is one cake. Label the size of each piece. Well, this one's easy because it's all equal. So these are each one-fourth. And it takes four-fourths to make a whole. This one's easy because they're all equal and they're one-third. These, however, are not equal. I know that this is one-half, but it's not just one-half because this isn't one-third. There's this imaginary line to cut the rest of the way through. These are one, two, three, four. One out of four. So this half would actually be the equivalent of two out of four. Write $53.25 as you would write it on a check. So you would write 50, three dollars, and 25 over 100, and you always draw a line out. And we're missing one thing. You always put a hyphen between the tens and the ones place. Each cup has 10 dimes. There are three cups. Three cups, 10 dimes. Write a number sentence to match the picture. 3 times 10. That is 30. And these are 30 dimes. How much is a dime worth? A dime is worth 10 cents. So I can take 30 and multiply it by 10. And I know you say, Ms. Ninky, I haven't learned how to count or multiply by 30. Or, and I don't want to count by tens to 30, that's so hard. Well, all you really have to do is move this zero over and do 30 times one. So my answer is 300 cents or $3. In the morning, Miss Ritter told the children that they would have a special visitor two hours from now. The clock shows the time. Well, it's 11, so two hours from that would be 12, 1, and I need to know my minute hand. So this is 30 and 5, 35. Now, we went from morning, which is a.m., past that mid-morning, that 12, so we're actually into the PM.
you can do the bottom on your own. Just remember that you always do your multiplication and division before you add and subtract. So on this one, you would do nine times four is 36 plus 10. Here you would go 400 divided by 10. I can count to t by 10s to 400. Or I can just imagine, like what we do with multiplication, and just eliminate those zeros. 40 divided by 1 is 40. And that concludes today's lesson.